What up guys, welcome back to the Sacred Takes channel. I will be showing you guys how to rotoscope inside After Effects. It's a very basic tool that every editor should know how to do. Rotoscoping is pretty much removing the subject from the background. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Be a part of the Sacred Takes team. I'm dropping tutorials every single week. Make sure to hit that like button so YouTube can know to recommend my videos to other editors as well. With that being said, let's hop straight into After Effects. First thing what you're gonna wanna do is double click on your clip. And as you can see, it opens up a layer. After that layer is opened up, head over to the Roto Brush tool, top left corner. As you can see, a green circle pops up. If you press Alt on your keyboard, a red circle pops up. And what the red circle does, it removes rotoscope parts of the clip that you don't need. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, guys, but I think on Mac, it's option to bring up this red circle. If you press Control on your keyboard, you make the circle bigger or smaller. And this pretty much determines the radius of the rotoscope. I think this is a pretty good size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select Kanye. As you guys can see down here, it says draw rotor brush and refine edge strokes at full re resolution. So we're gonna go back into the composition, change that quarter to full. So the rotoscope does a better job. Make sure you got version 3.0 selected. And as you can see, the rotoscope did a pretty good job already. This part of the sky that I don't want. So like I said before, we're gonna press control, make that circle a little bit smaller. We're gonna press all is gonna bring up the red circle and I'm gonna remove that. That's pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the preview tab and I'm gonna press play. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna go frame by frame and rotoscope Kanye. I'm gonna press play. And as you can see, it's going frame by frame and making sure Kanye stays in that rotoscope section in that purple outline. I saw a little mistake, so we're gonna go back. You guys can see here at the bottom, these areas I don't need. So I'm gonna press Alt again, remove it. Boom, fixed. Press play again. I had to pause it because as you guys can see, it's not rotoscoping his jacket fully. So we're going to go back where it messed up. So it starts right there. I'm going to press play again and let's see if it gets it this time. It's cutting it again. No worries. We're going to go back, choose that area again. It's probably thinking his jacket is part of the floor. I'm gonna press play again. Boom, now I got his jacket. Now once every single frame is rotoscoped, you're gonna head down and press freeze. And what this is gonna do is, it's gonna lock in every single frame for you inside that rotoscope. Now once all that freeze is into place, you're gonna close out that layer. And as you guys can see, it did a pretty good job rotoscoping Kanye from the background. And now we just have Kanye's body. And that's it for the basics of rotoscoping, guys. If you got this part in the video, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm about to show you guys some extra sauce here, some extra little effects that you could do inside After Effects with rotoscope. Let's get into it. First thing what you're gonna wanna do is Control D, duplicate that layer, go to the bottom layer, remove the roto brush. And now what we have is the background and the rotoscope of Kanye. Now what you're going to want to do is go to your effects and presets, search up turbulent displace, throw it on the bottom clip, which is just the background. And we're going to come to the beginning of that clip. We're going to keyframe the amount, put it to zero. We're going to go about halfway of the clip, bring that amount up to, let's say, 70%. Go to the end of the clip, bring that back down to zero. Now when we play it back, as you guys can see, the background is starting to morph up. It gives it kind of like that trippy look. That's just one skill that you could do with rotor brushing. Now, another effect you could do is we're going to go back to the rotoscope layer, control D it once again, and then we're going to control D one more time. So now, essentially, we have three rotoscope Kanye's. And for this effect, we're going to make it look like he has clones popping out of him and popping back in. So the first thing what you want to do is you want to go into transform of that first rotoscope Kanye, keyframe the scale and positioning, go about halfway in, bring that positioning to the left, Then go to the end of that clip. Bring that back into the middle. Now you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom rotoscope layer of Kanye. Go into transform, keyframe scale positioning. Go about halfway, bring that to the right this time. And then go to the end once again. Bring that back into the middle. Now when we play it back, it looks like Kanye got some clones. 
those are just two basic effects that you could do with rotoscoping inside after effects there's a thousand different things you could do with rotoscoping guys if you want to see more comment down below if i should drop more rotoscoping tutorials with that being said i thank you guys for getting until the end of this video don't forget to subscribe button down below dropping tutorials every single week hit that like button so youtube knows to continue recommending my video to other content creators and editors as well with that being said catch you guys in the next video peace